The District of Columbia has more law enforcement officers per capita than any other U.S. city. However, because of power dynamics, racial disparities, and the tension of encounters, people don't always know what to do if they're approached by a police officer. Here's what you should know when interacting with the police. If the police approach and question you. Imagine this. A police officer approaches you and begins asking questions. Instead of answering, assess whether you're obliged to stay or can leave. One way to figure out if you have to stay or if you can leave is to ask, am I free to leave? If the answer is yes, calmly walk away. If the police stop you. But what if the officer says you're not free to leave? That's what's considered a stop. In this case, the officer may ask more questions. You still don't have to answer them and shouldn't. Instead ask, am I under arrest? Police need a reasonable suspicion of your involvement in a crime to detain you. They can't stop you just because you look suspicious. If not under arrest, confirm if you're free to leave and exit calmly. If arrested, invoke your right to remain silent and request a lawyer. After saying that, don't say anything except to tell the police your name and address if asked. Police search you or your belongings. Sometimes, Police have the authority to search you, but other times, they can only search you if you give them permission to. You have the right to refuse a search by stating, I do not consent to a search. If the officer searches you anyway, stay calm and take mental notes on the interaction. Photograph and document what you recall when feasible and safe to do so. Identify the officer's department through their badge. Identifying different police departments. DC has multiple local and federal police departments. Look at the officer's badge to identify their department. This will help you hold them accountable later. Remember, you have rights. Exercise them while prioritizing safety. Avoid lying, resistance, or threats. You deserve dignity and respect, but it's often safer to comply in the moment and to challenge the officer's actions later. If you suspect rights violations, gather details, ask for the officer's information, and document the situation. If you would like to request legal assistance, visit acludc.org intake.